What's going on, guys? This is Kyle Persley with Digital Marketing Knowledge coming at you, okay? We're going to talk about the roadmap to creating a marketing agency, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would you in the share this stuff when you literally do this thing? Well, here's the thing. First of all, people need help out here. I get so many questions about simply the thing of what do you do? How do you do it? You know, what do you do for a living? And at the same time, how can I create an income for myself? All right. And so right now I am a coach in the VIP agency program with Douglas James. This is my mentor. And he helped me pretty much take uh, me working from part time um, at Best Buy. And I was able to, you know, scale some online companies so that way I could have freedom. Okay. And one of those companies is a marketing agency. And it's heavily focused on a one niche type of area. Okay, people will give you so much fluff about how to do this. I'm going to be really direct to you and tell you the things that you need and want and want and need to hear. So that way you are successful later. Now, of course, this one video is not going to be enough to describe every single thing on how to create a marketing agency. But if I had to explain to you guys like a roadmap to on how to create a marketing agency, here's how I would go about this. Okay. So the first thing is you have to pick a niche and this could be a sub niche in a business. A niche is so, a, basically a type of business, what type of business they're in. So are you a chiropractor? Are you a financial advisor? Are you a lawyer? Things in this nature. Okay. Now let's move on to the next step. You pick a niche, make sure you're passionate about it. You have to do market research. You need to figure out how they're generating customers. You need to figure out why in the world um, I would, you know, how in the world I'm going to generate clients or customers or patients, whatever the terminology is, right? You have to become an expert in that niche. You have to understand how their sales process works, their market. They're, honestly, majority of it is you need to understand their whole business. But when you're just starting a marketing agency, just understand their sales and marketing process and how you can tie other people's brand into that marketing process because you are going to be making a whole online business for them to generate clients or patients or whatever the thing is, right? So that moves into my next phase, all right? First of all, we've picked a niche. We've done market research. We know how, um, you know, we know all about them. We're building our information and now we're creating a solution, right? You have, you know, if we're focusing on lead generation, you're going to have an ad on Facebook and you're going to have a funnel that's going to generate you clients. And at the same time, you're going to have a calendar to book. And in between these, these will be automations or tr triggers or workflows to help you out with, you know, closing a client and going into the fulfillment area for your clients, which leads myself into, you know, we just talked about setting appointments and closing appointments with that process. Okay. So let me kind of digress because I feel like that could have got confusing. So if I am personally, am running an agency, I have to do pick a niche, market research to learn more about that niche. And I have to have sales and marketing systems in place in order to get leads, set appointments and close appointments. All right. And after you close that appointment, you get a lead in and maybe you're prospecting online. There's many ways to prospect, but that's the roadmap on how to get some leads. You can pay for ads. You can message people on Facebook and Instagram and, and things like this. Okay. And what this will do for you is generate prospects. They'll actually start, people start raising their hands, seeing that they're interested. Then you go into this thing you call a sales process, which you have intro calls to learn more about them, make sure it's highly qualified for them to, you know, basically, basically take um, someone who's learning to grow their business and make sure it's just simply a good fit for their program. Okay. After that, you go into a demo call. It's usually a Zoom call or a demo presentation. And then from that, what you're going to do from there is book an appointment to either A, go through that demo from that intro call or in that demo while you're giving it to them, you can close them on that call, right? So that's like their sales process of a marketing agency. Um, the next thing you have to focus on, okay, is you know once you close that client, you have to send them an agreement. You have an onboarding form to, for them to fill out. Okay, this is onboarding. This is starting the fulfillment, the business relationship process. 
You know, it's closing is one thing, but where the real work begins is when you have to fulfill for that client. So before you start scaling this whole marketing agency, like lots of people want to scale really fast and then just fell flat on their face. I've done it before. Okay. Like I'll, I'll speak to that. Now what we have to do is, you know, launch our solution. So we've done market research. We know what ads we need to show them. And we also know, um, you know, the targeting, the creatives, the funnels we want to send them to. This all went into your market research. Okay. As far as fulfillment goes, I know crazy, right? Um, but what you're going to do now is take all of your market research and your fulfillment and kind of bring it together, so to speak, okay, for your clients. For when you do market research, by the way, it's gonna go into your sales process as well. Everything builds off market research, okay? Now we've closed this client, they agreed to our solution, now it's time to do this, do this thing, all right? And then you go into the fulfillment process. You're setting up ads, you're setting up maybe a go high level or a customer response marketing management system, right? Like go high level. Um, or, and you're setting up ads, you're setting up ads with their own specific area of expertise, uh, hub, which is like to call it, right? So Facebook pages, social media pages, they can be a hub of where they're, they're going to host their expertise at, and you're going to represent their hub or their business online. Okay. So after you set up your solution, you have to make sure this is where I like to call the vehicle metaphor. You have to set up, you charge the, the client a setup um, fee, like building a car costs money to build a car. So you have to build up that, that whole entire deal right there. The next step you have to do is manage that vehicle, making sure the, the maintenance is good. Then you need to have gas, which is the ad spend, which helps you run that whole vehicle. What this will do for you at the end of the day is help you make more money and also at the same time, help you discern um, what and how to charge your clients and why it's important you charge for a setup fee, a management fee, or maybe you're doing paid per result. That's a different angle, right? So if you're paying per appointment, per result, um, per result can be leads or appointments. Okay. So that's food for thought. Um, take with what you want there, depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it. That's a thought for you. Um, so now we have talked about, you know, first off market research, picking a niche, all right, we talked about the sales process, you know, taking intro calls to demo calls and then closing them. And we use funnels and paid ads and other ways to generate leads as a way to make sales. Okay. So then after you make sales, you have to go into the onboarding process through it. And you can fill out a survey, get all the assets you need to be successful and things of that nature. Now, we just talked about fulfillment. We talked about setting up the assets and all that good stuff. And by the way, some of these things I'm describing could be automated, all right? Meaning you don't have to do some things manually to be organized. Now, this is like the streamline. You know, after you've set up everything, you can have a total of three calls. And I got this from like my, a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, Chris, I love him to death. He's freaking awesome. And the first three days, you know, you're making sure everything's working, the automations, but then you go into, let's say the uh, day 14, which is making sure like seeing how everything is going as far as like um, automations going, how the marketing, how the leads are going and then tweaking what you need to do. Or this is a point where you can get social proof even. Okay. And then what you can finally do on day 21, which is the third call is assuming the next month and telling them what you have to do in order to, to perfect this um, vehicle that you've created. So that way they can stay on for the next month or you can go from there. So that's something I, um, that's basically, you know, the roadmap to creating agency from a perspective of not scaling, but actual taking that product and service that you're learning, okay, from market research and learning your skills and systematizing those skills to just starting to get, you know, maybe your third, first few clients or maybe 10 clients. Um, but when you hit different revenues, you have to learn how to scale your business. And the reason why I bring that up is because you're going to need leadership. You're going to need team members and assistants and automations and things in this nature. Okay. So if you already have an agency or if you're a high ticket coach, I highly recommend you check out my scale training. What my scale training is going to do for you guys is help you automate your businesses and also set up your businesses too. This is not just for agencies, it's high ticket coaches and all that good stuff too. It's going to really help you all out with this. So 
listen, I, I hope, I really hope you appreciate the value here as far as a roadmap to creating agency. Um, I could spend a lot more time on this. If you want to talk more about, you know, the agency stuff, I can potentially hook you up with setting up your whole entire sales and marketing business um, done for you. We'll coach you on, you know, your sales, your marketing, your uh, tech and things in that nature to help further you along. Okay. So if you don't have an agency, I have a solution for you. Let me know. Just let me know in the comments or uh, chat with me in my private group. If you're looking to grow your, um, you know, horizon, so to speak, and starting your journey of setting up an agency. But if you already have an agency, I would love to give you my free training on scale systems, clients, you know, um, assistance, lifestyle, and elevation. Okay. So it's really going to take you to the next level. If you already have an agency is what I'm getting at. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. What I'm going to do is put a uh, three links. Okay. In my description, the first one is simply going to be my private group. Everyone's welcome to join that so they can get free content and information from me. The second thing is going to be uh, helping you out with setting up your agency itself. We have an application process with Douglas James. Um, by the way, I just came back from his event this past weekend. It was absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to share some information there. It's going to be amazing. But uh, then we have scale, which is my own um, program where I actually go into really systems that are going to help you to scale in the long term. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did like this content, you want me to expand more on different terms that I mentioned in this video, please let me know whether it's in my group or somewhere else. I just, I just think that'd be really valuable from you guys. That way I know how I can best serve you guys. Okay. So thank you so much. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.